this is Marlene and welcome back to a new video. I have something quite unusual today. Well, it's not unusual. I do painting and cooking. Are we surprised? No. Um, I was painting this scene from Studio Ghibli from Spirited Away of Haku and Chihiro eating their onigiri and I was like, why don't I cook them? You know, that was just an excuse for me to eat. So I decided to cook them for you two in this video while I was painting them. So I hope you enjoy. This is just a mini vlog kind of. I'll see you at the end of the video. For this painting, I started with drawing out the characters and painting them out because painting humans is my weakness and I want to make sure that I can draw them first and then finish up the painting because imagine painting the whole painting and then screwing up the characters. Yeah, so I like to just draw the characters first to boost my confidence and then go on with the background because I feel more comfortable. But to each their own workflow and this is what works for me right now. I love painting Studio Ghibli scenes because of the way they are able to abstract details from complicated scenes. So for instance here there's a bush behind and if you look at an actual bush it's like there's so many leaves and it's impossible for you to paint all of these. But Studio Ghibli is able to abstract this and make your mind think that there's a bush there by the way they are abstracting these details. And so learning from these scenes and trying that myself is a great way to incorporate this stylization into my own work in the future. The reason I liked the scene so much and wanted to paint it is not only because of Chihiro and Haku, they, they are very cute in it, but also the fact that the colors in this are mostly green, so it's all monochromatic, but the scene is still able to convey depth and dimension. So there's the foreground with the lettuce, and then there's the middle with the characters and the background, which are the bushes. And all of these are layered so well, even though they look like they're the same colors. So it was interesting for me to study this and try to paint it myself because you could see how you could play with different hues of green and convey different layering. It was very interesting how the scene mostly had greens but there was also a pop of pink in the flowers and in Chihiro and that's interesting because pink is a red so it's like complementary to the green which is why it works so well in the scene. So when I do these kinds of studies I take mental notes of colors, color combos that go well together and then I can incorporate that into my own work. You know what I thought would be fun is that we should also cook the onikis that they are eating in the scene. I just have to go get a few ingredients first. So this is about to turn into a cooking channel. Dressing up for the winter. 
every single time you need to go to the groceries. Um, yeah, let's go grab some ingredients and we'll be able to make it. Let's go. Secured the goods. Let's go home. Rice is a bit hot, but I'm gonna try to make very basic onigiri. Please don't judge how I'm gonna cook these. Um, I've never made these before, and I just thought it'd be fun for this video because I painted them. Yeah, this is gonna be my lunch because I didn't eat. Let's hope it's good. It can't be bad, right? It's salmon and rice and seaweed. So it, it literally can't be bad. I wanted to make more toppings to add to this but i didn't have enough time and also i'm not sure it's gonna be good you know so we can try it with salmon only this time and if it's good we'll, we'll add more toppings let's put some salmon here is this even the way to do this this is very sticky rice that's why they ask you to put salt and i didn't do it and then I'm surprised when I don't follow the instructions. BRB, I have too much rice on my hands. I'm back and I have more tools with me. I have scissors to cut the seaweed sheets. I have salt and water. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. That's quite curry. How do I do this thing? Okay, in the video, in the few videos that I watched, they took this and they used this thing to mold the shape. <laughs> and yeah, I think my wrap is a bit too small. I think I put too much rice. No, I did. That's why I had a giant bowl of rice. That way, if I failed one, it's fine. It's fine. This is a great metaphor for art. You can't, you can't succeed the first time. I keep practicing. Should I even wrap it? This point, do I do I start this again? No, guys. It's crumbling. No, it's crumbling, guys. This is my first attempt. We're not gonna talk about. It. Let's move on. Let's. Yeah. Looks so easy online. I was like, how hard can this be? You have to put rice. And then you just have to put the salmon in the rice. And then you just have to wrap it in a triangle shape. Well, this is what happens, Marlene, when you think you're so good and you can do it. You can't. Okay? Let's try the second attempt. Let's let's move on from this, okay? Y'all, you, you guys did not see this happen. I'm gonna put less rice this time. And the salmon is leaking out, but at least this time it's holding its shape up like this, right? <clears> okay, <throat> this is more promising than the first one, but the salmon is coming out. Um, what? 
keeps crumbling. It keeps crumbling, guys. I'm not. It should work. I saw online. I saw online that they put like half the rice that I'm doing. So that explains everything. Let's try this again with a lot less rice. Third time's the charm. So I think if I put a lot less, it will work. Okay, this looks more promising. Ooh. Got our seaweed here. Now, all I have to do is not break anything before we shape it off-centered. Yo, I made one. <laughs> I made one that's not breaking apart. That's my only standard. Is it holding up? The salmon is kind of leaking on the side, but that's gonna be the best I can do. Here we go, we got one. Let's put it in the tray. One, success. Now let's do more. <laughs> the rest of the night I just decided to chill and do a sketching session. I'm sketching some human faces to practice my anatomy. Always practice. And so yeah, it was pretty relaxing and I like to draw human and practice my anatomy in my sketchbook so that I can improve in my paintings. <laughs> enjoyed this short vlog kind of and I hope to see you very soon. <laughs>